Welcome or welcome back to my channel. But that's not energy. Welcome back to my channel. I am Kathy. I am an international student here in Canada from the Philippines. I post a YouTube video every week about being an international student, my experience here in Canada, and about lifestyle. So if you like that kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Gotta do it. Before I'll start in this vlog, I'm just going to share with you the vlog that I collaborated with my friend, which is this one. Click that one if you want to check it out. So we kind of get drunk a little bit, but it's all fine. She's just starting her YouTube video, so please subscribe to her and like the video if it gives you a lot of laughter, because it will. Last week, I was reminiscing about the things that we've done here when I first got here in Canada, like the first day. I remember it was so busy. It was so hectic. No, 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 it's not hectic, but it was so busy and a little bit overwhelming, but it's all fine. I'm with my sister. So I, I remember that we got here, we dropped off our things in this place, and then went to straight to the college so that I could get my college ID and I could buy a bus bus and then we ate something there and then we went to the bank to create the bank account and I remember that creating bank account is kind of overwhelming and intimidating but don't worry because in this episode I'm going to share with you my newfound knowledge about opening a student bank account as international student, your requirements to open a bank account, and give you a bank options for opening a student bank account. So if you want to know more about that, please stay tuned till the end of this video. I hope this video will help you a lot. This is not the requirements. So the things that you have to bring are First, government ID. Prepare at least two government IDs for your identification. It can be your license, your passport, birth certificate, um, social insurance number. This part is to verify your identification so that you can avoid scammer and to protect you, right? Next is bring your student permit and working permit so that they can verify that you are a student here in Canada. Next is you have to provide your personal information such as your name, your contact number, your email address, your current address here in Canada. And the last is your deposit for opening the bank account. Since COVID-19 is happening around, some people doesn't want to go to the bank directly. So right now you can go to the bank and bring your requirements and open your bank account. But if you want to apply online, you can do it as well. So the first step that you have to do is go to their bank website or refer to this video so that you can compare which accounts that you prefer. If you know what to get or if you know what which account what to apply, go to the website and look for the account for that student checking bank account and then click that and you will be directed to another page and then they will ask for your basic information such as your name, address, um, some identification. Make sure that when you're applying online the requirements are already prepared on hand meaning you have soft copies of your requirements. After you complete the online application, you will receive an email from your account provider for a verification. This email will have an instruction to verify your account and your identification. Next, to verify your identity, in the email that your bank or your account provider will send you, there will be an instruction. So you might do this during the application, but some banks do this after your application. So to be verified, you have to provide two government IDs. So if you're doing this online, you have to take a picture of your ID or scan your ID and then upload it to their website. And some bank actually will require you to take a picture of yourself with your ID. Next step is make a deposit. Uh, most of the accounts will require you to make an opening deposit, but some not, just like what I will mention later. Next is your debit card will arrive on your mailbox. So you have to wait for a couple of days, a couple, a couple of weeks to receive your debit card. You will find out how long will it take 
uh, to be delivered to you through the email confirmation. Oh my god. Okay, so we're done with the requirements and how to apply via online. Now I'm going to share with you the five best bank account for students here in Canada. I want you to listen and try to compare which bank account suits you the best. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bank that most of my friends use. It is Scotia Bank. Scotia Bank is one of the largest banks here in Canada. Mm, are you a movie lover or a foodie? Hmm, because I am both. <laughs> I'm asking you this because Scotia Bank Student Banking Advantage Plan have a reward system where if you use your card regularly, you will gain points. They call it scene points. So by using it regularly, they will give you scene points that is redeemable through various restaurants and movie theaters. Plus, they will give you a 5 case scene points on hand just by opening in addition to all that perks okay this account comes with no monthly fees you have unlimited debit transaction there's unlimited bill payments and unlimited interact e transfer so interact e transfer is just you know transferring money from your account to another account there are 3,400 Scotia Bank's ATM around Canada with no additional payment if you're going to use the ATM. When you go to other parts of the world, you can use your debit card at Global ATM Alliance when you're traveling across the globe so that you can avoid ATM fees. Next is CIBC or Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. They offer CIBC Smart for students checking account when you open a student checking bank account in CIBC they will give you $60 guys you open a bank account to them so you can save up money and they will give you money as well <laughs> just by opening an account oh my gosh and they don't have any registration fees nor monthly fees for this one and you have an unlimited use of interact e transfer as well CIBC is also accessible because there are 3,800 CIBC ATM across Canada. So that's a lot. You don't have to worry of getting money. And you know what, guys? You may also continue to benefit on the no cost benefits of this account for six months after you graduate. Because usually after you graduate, you, sh you need to pay the monthly fees. But for this one, once you graduate, you can still use no monthly fees benefit until six months. Next, BMO or Bank of Montreal. Um, it is the oldest bank in Canada. It's, it has been operating for more than 200 years. So they offer BMO Plus student checking account. What I like about this, what am I doing? So what I like about this student checking account is that you have a chance to win $10,500 for students tuition fee. And if you're not lucky enough to win for that reward, there are also other rewards that they give out. So you have to stay tuned in their website to know what are those awards. This account is also unlimited a monthly transaction, unlimited interact e-transfers, and 30 monthly point of sales transaction every month. Although there are a lot of perks for this one, they actually have monthly fee which is $5. Next is RBC. So RBC is Royal Bank of Canada. They offer RBC student checking account. I'm actually using this one. They offer different student checking account now because I can see the one that I applied for but anyway RBC student bank account comes with $60 when you sign up so guys oh my gosh they're giving up money when you sign up it also comes with 25 free monthly transactions it comes with unlimited interact e-transfers and access to over 4,600 ATM around Canada. So this one, they have a lot of ATMs, so you don't have to worry if you don't have cash. 
next and the last one that i will discuss with you is td student checking account um their student checking account doesn't have monthly fee they don't have a minimum balance requirements in your debit card i mean most of the student account doesn't have minimum um it comes up with unlimited interact e-transfers and has 25 free point of sales transaction every month so personally i think that comparing this five student checking account i think for me i'm gonna get scotia bank because of scene points yeah i like movies i like watching at movie theaters of course <laughs> i love food i want to try other restaurants so i think um that suits me well and the fact that it doesn't have monthly fees and it has unlimited e-transfers then i like that i really like that one i'm also kind of uh, biased with the BMO plus student checking account because you have a chance to win like 10,500 Canadian dollars for your student tuition fee and that's huge it's actually one and a half semester already so it's a good money so from that five student banking account what do you think suits you the best Comment it down below and share your thoughts about it. If you have any questions, please comment it down below. And if you like this video, please like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have time, you can also watch this two videos right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day ahead and God bless everyone. Bye!